Make sure to be subscribed and like the video. We're giving away an ASM 33. Oh boy, do I got a doozy for you guys. I got an awesome collection in, but instead everything went haywire and I actually had to give the collection back. So I'm gonna show you the initial video as it was intended, happy and go lucky, and honestly, it was one of the best collections I've picked up the whole year. I went and took those books and I traded like 90% of them for a Green Lantern number one, 8.5. Today, the guy from the shop actually got a hold of me and said that he needs all the books back. He needed the money when he sold them to me, and he doesn't need the money now. And he has an emotional attachment to the books, and he thinks he made one of the worst mistakes of his life. Let me tell you something, it's not for the financials. I paid him better than I think anyone would. So at this point, I had the Green Lantern. I was actually midway through editing. I had to call up the other guy that I just traded the entire box for the Green Lantern, and I had to give him everything back. And I will say this, much like myself, he was not thrilled. I made his morning when I gave it to him, and uh, when I had to get all those books back from him, he was not freaking happy. So that sucks but he was understanding. So let's go ahead and show you one of my best pickups of the year, which actually was able to grant me my grail, which I had to give it all back in 24 hours. Let's roll it. What's up comic and pop culture fans? James here with a truly awesome collection. Can't wait to show you this one. Could be my favorite one of the year. Okay, maybe not the best of the year. That still goes to February's Silver Age collection. If you don't remember, here's a link to that one. But this was an all Silver Age collection that I really dug. And actually the funny thing about this is I was almost asleep at the antique shop. This gentleman walks in with this collection. One short box, that's all it is. Everything's between a 3.5 to a 4.5. Obviously, I wanted the stuff. You're getting a nice idea of the type of books in here. All 64 to about 66 Marvel. It was so close to closing, I was honestly starting to doze off. It was a particularly slow day. By the way, guys, if you have collections you want me to see, I I work every Wednesday at the antique shop, so come by, I'll check out what you've got. Now, to be honest, from earlier this year when I got a lot of these awesome Silver Ages in, I sold them all, and I've been really regretting it, so it's nice to get these book back. Honestly, some of these might be for the PC, but most of these I'm thinking I'm actually going to use as a trade. I know a gentleman who has an 8-0 of Green Lantern number one. I'm going to see if maybe he'd be interested in this box, or at least most of these books. There's a couple keys he's been on the hunt for and said, if I ever found them, we could maybe do a trade. So I might finally get my high, high grade Green Lantern number one because of this collection. We will see. I'm either keeping it or I'm getting a Green Lantern one out of it. We'll see. We got Tales to Astonish. Oh man, this beautiful stuff. Lower grade, but still... Not low grade to the point where it's like gross grade. You know, everything's in that four. And, you know, with Silver Age, you take fours, man. You take fours. Very nice. 151. We did get a very nice 150. One of maybe only one of a few that might be a little bit better than a 4.5. This one could be into the six range right here. First, Umar, Dormammu's sister. I think it's also the first John Buscema art with Marvel. Let's keep it going. We got some more Strange Tales. Strange Tales. We also have a bunch of the Sergeant Furies. Not a lot of key significance in these ones, but they're still cool to get. Yeah, first uh, origin of Fury's eye patch. Yep. Here we got the second appearance of Professor Zoom. Very cool. Love the cover. Good old 12 cent flash. And we got some Nick Cardies with Aquaman. We've got a little bit of Batman. Non-key stuff, but still we'll take it. Yes, sir. Uh, one of these detectives, that's the first clue master, actually. Father of Stephanie Brown, fun fact. 
So there's little keys sprinkled in here with the DC. Like that one is uh, the first appearance of Starfinger. Yes, small key, obviously. You're gonna really dig the end of this box. Whoo, Witching Hour number four, House of Mystery 182, and we're gonna do some Avengers. 29, you ready? 28, first, um, oh, what's it called, Goliath? I forget, what did I say? First appearance of the Collector, Hank Pym becomes Goliath, okay. I don't think I can get rid of this one. It's good to have that back in the collection, man. 25, I love that Doctor Doom cover versus the Avengers right there. And there's other smaller keys here. You know, first uh, Power Man right there, things like that. Uh, swordsman joining the Avengers. Uh, we did get some ASMs, last Steve Ditko issue and the second Mary Jane cameo. Here's our giveaway. We're gonna do this one as a giveaway for the channel. You just have to be liked and subscribed and I'm gonna be giving away this classic key here in mid grade too, not even low, I would say mid. Some of you might be wondering, what did I pay? This was an expensive collection. Quite honestly, I did pay up for it. With a collection like this, you know, non-modern stuff, hey, first to Harry Osborne and Gwen Stacy. Stuff like this, I'm gonna be pretty close to the actual FMV on. So, paid well for it, but it was worth it. First cat burglar, uh, I would do it again. Second scorpion right here. Uh, then we have a couple of the X-Men's. Uh, we got like third Sentinels, second Sentinels. Ding, ding, ding. First Sentinels, baby. And that's actually, again, one of the few ones that was a little bit nicer than a 4-5. So I'm going to be... If there was one in the batch to send off, that might be the one for me. It's never going to happen. We'll see. I, I actually think nothing was quite to the caliber of going to CGC, but I could be wrong. FF91, save the best for last, guys. Second appearance of Claw, first appearance, no, excuse me. I thought that was gonna come next. Classic cover there. Here it is, first appearance of Claw, first appearance of T'Chaka, second appearance of Black Panther. First appearance of Black Panther. <laughs> that's a hell yeah right there. And even though there's a sticker stuck to it, that's a hell yeah, man. And it actually continues. We have 50. I now have, finally, it's been almost a year since I've had it. I have it again. The Holy Trilogy. The Galactus Silver Surfer combination. So 50, 49, first full appearance of Galactus, first cover appearance. And 48, first Silver Surfer baby. Obviously, that's the best one in here. Just telling you right now. And those three, that trilogy is the one that my Green Lantern guy specifically wants. So he told me if I ever find those, we could talk a trade. Now I think it's even with those, it's gonna take probably this whole box. So we will see what we can do on that Green Lantern one trade. Where was I? 48, there's more. Could have ended there, but there is more. 47's a nice key. 46, first full appearance of Black Bolt. Love that cover, man. And check this out. First in humans. Woo! Bruh. So, guys, I apologize. Normally, when I do these videos, they are going to be for sale. But as I mentioned, I'm either keeping this stuff or using it as a trade. The first Atuma. That one's actually kind of low grade. Now, you can't tell this, but this is actually the following morning. I have double bagged everything. Everything is priced and processed. You're wasting your time. So I'm going to make a call and see if we can't do that Green Lantern trade. Stay tuned. So I hope you enjoyed that. This, again, was going to be a very different type of video. You can clearly see the caliber of the books that were in there. You can see how excited I am, which kind of sucks, but it happens. And uh, the guy had such an emotional attachment and it was his dad's books. I felt for him. Luckily, the guy I got the Green Lantern from also felt for him. There's a lot of ways that this couldn't have worked out so great. But he was willing to trade the books back for me. I had to give the Green Lantern back, which 
man. And the gentleman who came to the antique shop is getting his books back. And it's not for the financials. Let me tell you, I paid him better than I think anyone else would. It's the emotional attachment, which I resonate with. I do get it. But it does kind of hurt to know that I either would have had a doper PC, Grail, or Epic Claim Sale. So, whatever. I'm hopeful that Comic Karma remembers this because it was kind of a pain in the ass. But hey, a fun story came out of it, so I thought I'd share. And as always, guys, keep on hunting. Don't get discouraged in this hobby. You will have wins. You will have losses. See you at the next video. Make sure to come down to Sentiment Depot Antiques and Collectibles where I'm set up with all of my comics located at 238 West Delaware Ave, Pennington, New Jersey. Open every day except for Monday and Tuesday. Enjoy 10% off from Wednesday to Friday. See you there.